Hi, welcome to our channel. Before we start, please hit the subscribed button down below. Thank you. Now picture this, you hop into your car on a chilly morning. Turn the key in the ignition. And your vehicle springs to life. But just as quickly as it starts. It sputters and dies, leaving you frustrated and stranded. If you've ever experienced this issue where your vehicle starts but won't stay running. You're not alone. In this video, we'll explore the possible causes of this problem and suggest remedies, to get you back on the road. Let's begin with a common culprit, the bad electric sensor. Is the problem only happening when the engine is cold? If your answer is yes, then a bad electric sensor could be the culprit. This issue typically occurs in vehicles, equipped with a fuel injection system and primarily when the engine is cold. Here's the breakdown. Modern vehicles rely on a complex network of electronic sensors to regulate the fuel-air mixture required for engine operation. If one of these sensors malfunctions, it can disrupt the engine's ability to calculate and deliver the correct amount of fuel, especially in cold weather conditions. When the sensor fails to detect the cold temperature, the engine might not receive the rich air-fuel mixture needed to keep it running smoothly during cold starts. To diagnose and fix this problem, it's best to take your vehicle to a reputable repair garage. Mechanics can connect your engine to an analyzer to identify the faulty sensor. The cost for this analysis typically ranges from $40 to $70. You'll also need to cover the expenses for replacing defective sensors. Fortunately, in most cases, only one sensor requires replacement. Now, let's consider another possibility, a fuel injection system issue. Does the problem persist, even when the engine is warm? If your answer is no, and the issue occurs regardless of the engine's temperature, you might be dealing with a problem related to your fuel injection system. When the engine's starting issue is not linked to temperature, it becomes challenging to pinpoint a specific cause. In such cases, the problem could be related to the fuel injection system itself, which is a complex and intricate part of your vehicle. Addressing fuel injection system problems is a task best left to experienced mechanics, particularly those familiar with your specific make and model. If your vehicle is no longer under warranty, it's crucial to seek a second opinion if a mechanic suggests replacing the entire fuel injection system. Often, the issue lies with one of the sensors within the system rather than the system itself. A skilled mechanic can thoroughly assess all the sensors to determine if they are functioning correctly. Finally, let's examine a potential culprit, the bad electric fuel pump. Locate the fuel pump, refer to your vehicle's manual if you need assistance. Now, turn the ignition key to the point just before the engine starts to turn over. Leave the key in that position. If the fuel pump is located inside the gas tank, remove the gas cap. Put your ear up to the gas tank opening and listen for a whirring sound. If the fuel pump is located under the hood, listen for that same whirring sound coming directly from the fuel pump. In either case, this sound means the electronic fuel pump is working. Did you hear a whirring sound? similar to a little paddle will sound, when testing the fuel pump. If you did not hear a whirring sound, then a malfunctioning electric fuel pump could be the source of your woes. Every vehicle equipped with a fuel injection system, relies on an electric fuel pump to deliver fuel to the engine. A properly functioning electric fuel pump emits a characteristic whirring sound when operational. If this sound is absent, it suggests that the electric fuel pump may be defective. A failing fuel pump can lead to inadequate fuel supply, causing the engine to stall shortly after starting. Replacing the electric fuel pump can be a straightforward or intricate task, depending on its location within your vehicle. 
Consult your vehicle's manual for detailed instructions, if you're considering a DIY approach. However, if you're not comfortable with this task, it's advisable to shop around for a reputable mechanic who can perform the replacement, ensuring your vehicle runs smoothly once again. In conclusion, when your vehicle starts but refuses to stay running, it can be a frustrating experience. By identifying whether the issue is related to temperature, the fuel injection system, or the electric fuel pump, you can take appropriate steps to diagnose and resolve the problem. Remember that seeking professional assistance is often the safest and most effective route to getting your vehicle back on the road reliably. Thank you for watching. Please support us by subscribing and liking this video.